Good afternoon, FS Global, my channel, and welcome to the new mod showcase. Everybody has been waiting for some new mods. Well, we finally got some new mods today. Today, we got 26 new mods and updates to go over for all platforms. We got 12 new mods and seven new updates. For PC only, we got three new mods and four new updates. Remember also, if you guys do like the video, which hopefully you guys do, to smash that like button. Let's go for 200 likes on this video. We'll probably want to see those mods. Roll that intro, and let's go. Okay, welcome back. Okay, so the first mod we have for all platforms for today is this one right here. This is the Vultra T120 T190 from Farming 99. 110 horsepower is the base manual transmission, 250 liters of fuel, 25 miles an hour, 5.9 tons. It is $100,000 exactly. Let's see, attach the joints. We got weight holder and pickup hitch. We have weight holder and pin coupling. Uh, let's see, we got front lifter and pickup hitch. We got front lifter and pin coupling. Then weight holder and pickup hitch. Uh, I think that's about it on that. Will Brand, we got Trailborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Vridestein, Nokian. Trailborg, we got Standard, Standard 2, Wide Tires, Wide Tires 2, Narrow Tires, Rear Twin Wheels, Twin Wheels, and then back to Standard. It's probably going to be the same for pretty much all that. All of them, sorry. Uh, that looks really good, actually. Uh, let's see, Vritistines, twin wheels on that one, and the same as those. Except for Midas, looks like it's just either wide or twins on those. Uh, specials, we got standard, we got Kloss, we got 500th, ith, uh, special, was that 500? I don't know. <laughs> and then back to standard on that. Uh, let's see, reverse drive control, just almost lost my voice right there. We got standard, we got twin track. Weight, uh, wheel weights, we got no, we got 160, 320, 480, 640, and then back to no. I've not actually seen a mod where you can actually set the, you know, the weight of the wheels. That's pretty neat right there. Uh, fenders, standard, wide, front fenders, front fenders plus wide rear fenders, and then back to standard. Let's put it that one. Uh, tension plates, you have standard, you have SMV triangle, side markers, Side markers plus triangle and then back to standard. Uh, intake pipe, you got no. You've got yes. Uh, let's see, beacons, no. Left, right, both. Uh, belly weight, you got no. 400, and then back to no. Puts the weight right underneath it. Uh, let's see, a dashboard, you got the aggro line. You've got pro line, and then back to aggro line. Let's put the pro line on there. Front load attacher, no. Quickie, hour, back to quickie. Instep, you have the T120, which is 40 kilometers. You got the T120, 50 kilometers. The T130, which brings up to 125. The T130, 50 kilometer one. The T140, which brings up to 140. The T160, which brings up to 150. The T160, 50 kilometer. The T170, which brings up to 160. And then, of course, you got the 50 kilometer one. The T180, which brings up to 180. Uh, the T190, which brings up to 200. Wow, there's a lot of different engine configurations. This thing go up to 200 horsepower with the 50 kilometers. Main color, you can change it to any color you want. So if you wanted to have it as Sam's pink, you can. Uh, let's see, light frame color. You either have chrome or silver. Uh, weights, sorry. Yeah, rim weight color, you have any color. Uh, there's a lot of colors. Grill color, you have any color? Well, not really. You got black, dark gray, gray, or light gray. Uh, rim color, you have either white or black on that. That actually doesn't look too bad. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and lease that real quick. Let's go over here. Let me bring this up real quick. Oh, wait, that was already up. Uh, details look really good on it. All right, so let's go ahead and get in it. Anything happen when we get in? Let's see. Yep, the wheel does go down. Actually, goes down pretty fast. Lights, you got one, two, three, four sets of lights. Got rotating beacons on the top. Okay, let's go ahead and turn that engine over. There's the engine sounds right there. Let's go ahead and turn it back over again. Everything lights up in here. Okay, everything looks good. 
Turn signals all work. Okay, anything on these horn? Looks like we do. What does that do? You can open up the back window with LB, RB, and your left stick. The right stick, let's see. You can open that door up, and you can open up that door. Top speed is 31 miles an hour. And we're definitely not going to hit it before we hit that wall. But it does hit it pretty fast. Look at that. There we go. Not bad tractor right here. So that right there, guys, is the Vulture T120 T190. Okay, now the next mod we have for today is the Holorus Viking from Moose Agrar. This is a silage distributor to basically level it. We have the Viking, which requires 180 horsepower right here, uh, 2.4 tons, 23,360. And then we have the Viking Grass Fork, which is 27,710. This thing holds 3,000 liters, and of course it can hold your grass, your straw, your silage, your chaff, stuff like that. And it's pretty interesting on this one. We got the fork thing right here, and then right in the back we have that leveler right back there. Okay, now next one list we have after that one is the Vultra Valmet 8750 from Blend Art. 190 horsepower is the base. Uh, let's see, manual plus power shift. 250 liters of fuel. It can hold 24 miles an hour, 6.4 tons. It is 108,500. Configuration, you got standard. You got forest frame, arm holder, forest frame plus arm holder, and then back to standard. Uh, let's see, we got Trailborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Vredestein, Nokian. You got standard, standard two, wide tires, wide tires two, wide tires three, wide tires four, narrow tires, Rear twin wheels, twin wheels, and then back to standard on those. And you can have pretty much those in the same on the other ones right there. Uh, front load attacher, no. Quickie, Hauer, and back to no. Let me actually put it right here. Okay, I'm just seeing what it changed right there. It just looks like it added more colors on it. Uh, sorry. Main color, you have any color you want. You can have that orange color right there. It looks really good. Design color, any color. Grid color, any color, rim color, any color on that one too. Let me actually put that at that. That actually looks really good. I like that. All right, so let's go ahead and get that real quick just to take a look at it. Detail looks really good. Two Vultures today, wow. All right, so let's go over here. Lights, one, two, three. Ooh, got those like old yellow lights right there. No beacons on there. Turn signals, of course. And as you can see, it does move in here. Everything lights up, dashboard lights up. Of course, you guys can hear that engine. Not bad. Here is it turning on in here. Really nice tractor. Okay, anything on here? No, nope. Okay, so top speed is 26 miles an hour. And I don't think it's good. Ooh, it almost got close to it though. Look at that. So not bad. So that right there, guys, is the last new tractor for today. That is the Vulture of Valmet 8750. Okay, next on the list after that one, we have the D6N LGP from Ginnemisk. Includes the D6N LGP, which is $350,000. You also got the D6N Ripper and the D6N Blade. Uh, let's see this one. There is no option on this one. This it is 182 horsepower uh, 390 liters of fuel 18 miles an hour three hundred fifty thousand dollars on that Then we got the d6 and ripper which is 9500 and let's see four working meters And then the blade is 4.3 working meters on this So let's go ahead and just take a quick look at this I'm not really going to show it off that much because I don't really use these things that much so let's go ahead and get in it. Here is the interior. Okay, lights, one, two, three, three sets of lights. No beacons, no turn signals. Be quiet so you guys can hear that engine. Okay, so there we go. Here it is turning on in here. Okay, I can hear turn signals, but it's not doing nothing. Okay, let's see. Raise and lower. Nothing on that one. Okay, so there we go. Top speed is 18 miles an hour. And 19 miles an hour, sorry, and it hit it way before that. Good turning radius, I can tell you that. Okay, so that right there is the D6 in LGP. Let me know if you guys play with mods like this.
Okay, now the next new mod we have on the list for today is the Pottinger Top Pack from Agra Design Austria. It includes the Top 280U and the Euro Top 340. Uh, the 280 is $6,000. The 340 is $8,000. Uh, let's see. Some of the options on this one does require 30 horsepower, 2.8 working meters, 9 miles an hour is the operating speed. Uh, let's see. You got weight set balls. Yes or no on that. Main color, you either got yellow or red. Design color, you got yellow, yellow plastic, old yellow rubber, and old yellow plastic on that. Rim color, you either have silver or you have gray. And then this one right here is 3.4 working meters. 35 horsepower is required on this one. And this one, you actually have the wheel setup standard, uh, ground wheel mounted, or back to standard. And then I'm pretty sure the colors are going to be yeah, pretty much exactly the same on that. Next, we have the All Bud to Bail Grab. And this is from Mac Trucker 921 750 kilograms, $5,600. Attacher type, you got front loader, you got monitu, you got telehandler, skid steer, wheel loader. Uh, and then back to front loader. Main color, you have any color you want. So, like I always say, you can have Sam's favorite color, pink. And design color, you can have any color too. So, if you want to match it, there you go right there. And now the last new mod, well, the last regular new mod for today we have is the large universal shovel. And this is from the same one, Mac Trucker 921. This holds 3,500 liters, uh, 320 kilograms, 2,500. Uh, add shovel teeth, no or yes on that. Um, looks like, is it clipping in the ground? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Um, front loader attach, I mean, attacher type, you got front loader, you got monitu, telehandler, skid steer, wheel loader, front loader. Uh, main color, you have any color you want, so if you want to have it like that, you can. And then design color, any color. I must see something real quick. Let's do that. I just want to see if whenever we're on here, if it will actually show up or if it's going to be clipped into the ground too. So we'll go right up here real quick and just take a look at this. Hopefully it's not clip, clipping in the ground. Okay, it, it isn't. It isn't clipping in the ground. So just in the store, it looked like it was clipping in the ground. As you see, it does have those teeth on there. So that right there is the large universal shovel. Let's get to those placeables we have for today. Okay, so here we are with the placeables for today. The first one we have is the workshop pack from Lancy Boy. I've been waiting for this one right here. So it is finally out. So here we go right over here. Let's go ahead and enter this. As you know, Lancy Boy does a lot of details in his own models with all of his stuff. And look at this. This is a drive through workshop right here. So open that one up, open that one up. Look at this thing. Uh, let me actually bring this up real quick. So you can just turn on your shed lights like that. And look at the detail in this thing. Amazing, amazing detail. Of course, your workshop thing right there. You can go ahead and open up the door right over there. So really nice. Also, can we go up that ladder? I don't think we can. No, no, you can't go up the ladder. It'd be nice if you could, though. Okay, we got that one. And then we also have an American one right over here. Let's go ahead and open up that door. And we can open up that. Open up that. Look at this thing. It's a really nice workshop. So, where can you find this workshop pack? Let's go over to buildings, go under to tools, and there we go. We actually got four. We got the big one right there, which is the English workshop. See right over here. You got the drive through workshop, which you guys just seen. Then, of course, the American one. And then you got the low budget workshop with solar panels on the very top of it. Okay, so there we go. Then after that one, we have another pack from Lancy Boy. This is the English Shed Pack from Lancy Boy. It includes like this right over here. Open up that. And there you go. Look how really not like I said, nice, nice detail on here. But really nice pack right here. I would love to have like, you know, one where you can actually go inside and do some silage like that. That'd be pretty neat. So we got that one. And of course, we also got an open one right here. And just look at the level detail. Look at that, they got the, like the little bee vine moss stuff hanging off the side of it. Oh okay, yeah, where can you find a, this pack? You can go under buildings, go under sheds, and there's actually quite a few of them. We got this one right here, the green panel hay barn. Uh, we have this one, the blue panel. Got the blue sheet machinery barn. Uh, you got the green version of it. You got the red of that one, which you guys already seen. And then of course, the green one of that one. Wait, oh, there's also a blue one. Sorry, 
Now after that one, we have the Homestead Pig Barn. This is from Pazer Madi. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's see how many pigs this thing can hold. It looks like it can hold up to 10 pigs. So let's go ahead and just get them real quick. And there you go. You can see them right in there. Put your food in there, water in there. Does the gate open? Oh yeah, it does. It goes right through the pig. Okay. I see some pigs right in there. Nice little bitty uh, area right here for you st just starting off with pigs. Okay, where can you find this? Let's go under animals, pigs, and all the way at the end, it is only $10,000. Okay, now the next one we have is the Farmhouse Loader. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but this is from Farmer 5 Tom. Includes this right here and this little bitty bench right over here where you can actually sleep. I don't think you can actually go into the house, no, but you can look through the windows, which that's kind of creepy. You can go in this one right over here, which includes a workshop, so that's pretty nice. Can you open that? Nope. Oh, wait, yeah, you can. Ooh, that door needs some oil. Uh, also got the light switch right over here. So, the cool thing about this is it's a house. Hey, you got baby caps right there. Okay, open up the door. The light switch is right over here. But like I was saying, you got the house part of it. You have the workshop part of it. And then, ooh, you also have, well, you can also get cows. So let's go ahead and just get, uh, let's go get 20 cows real quick. So there we go. And got 20 cows in there. Got your milking right there. Uh, you feed right in there. You get your uh, slurry out right over here. And you also got this part right up here, which you know you can store your, hey, why can't I go in there? Okay, that might be a bug. Can't go in there, huh? I don't know why I can't go in there. Okay, where can you find this at? So let's go under buildings, farmhouses, and there they two are. Let's see, 134,800 for this one, and it snaps, and then $350 for that one, and that one does 360 rotation on that. Okay, now the last new mod we have for all platforms for today is the lifting platform from Dusty. Includes a lifting platform and then, of course, your workshop trigger. Uh, let's see. Um, can lift it right there. I've been hearing people have been having a lot of problems with this. I don't know exactly what they're having, but yeah. Whoa. Did it, was it? Yeah, the collisions are a little bit off. As you see, I am lifting in the air. Okay. can lower it right there. Okay, where can you find this lift? Go to tools, all the way over here, it is $5,000. Okay guys, so that is the new mods for today. I would have to say probably my favorite mod for all platforms for today would probably have to be the workshops right there from Lancy Boy, love those workshops. Okay, let's get to those updates, and of course we got the PC only ones. Okay, so here we go with the updates for today. The first one we have is Osada, which I've been hearing that this update is not showing up on the new gen Xbox. Let me know if it's showing up for you guys. But anyways, the changes along on this one is a pretty big one. They added parallax texturing and frost to playable buildings, added the ability to sell playable buildings, uh, added the ability to give straw bales to animals, added four new paint cubes, added alternate farm textures with pigs, added new trees to put on the map, Fix levitating objects, fix border collisions, fix the name of buying in tasks with farmers, fix the unevenness on the ground, change the green color of the map to a darker one, change traffic, change the cultivation calendar of the season, change the distance drawing trees to basic from the game, and change textures on the building. Uh, it also says, info, the map area will be enlarged in newer versions. I bet you this is probably going to be requiring a new save. After that, we have an update for this one right here, the 980K wheel loader. What changed on this one? Optimize, optimize, sorry, wait for better loading. Then after that one, we have an update for the vintage auger pack. What changed on this one? Fixed conflict with REA 22 center of gravity mod. Okay, the next update after that one is the low loader with 16 wheels. What changed on this one? Let's see, fixed mud flap decal and fixed L10N. And then we have an update for the old farm package. The update on this one, MP fixed, added farmhouse sheep. Collision fixed and fixed clear and level areas. Then after that one, there was an update for the cow shed with barn. What changed in this one? Fixed snow and added lading straw from bale. And then the last update for today is the small grain silo. What changed in this one? Added fill types, mineral feed, pig food, lime, fertilizer, seeds, and road salt. So that is everything for all platforms. Let's take a look at the PC only mods for today.
Okay, here's the first mod we have for PC only for today, and that is the Field Service Trailer from GTX. So you guys know this is gonna be a really good one right here. But anyways, holds up to 2,875 liters of fuel, 1.6 tons, let's see, 24,500. Some of the options we have on it. Standard, DEF, and then back to standard. A wheel brand, you have Continental, Nokian. Continental, you just got standard, same thing with Nokian. Glowing markers, yes or no. Strobe lights, yes or no. Main color, you have any color. Rim color, you have chrome, silver, white, or black. Let's go back to chrome. And then that is it on that. Let me go ahead and get this real quick. I want to see if you can like enter it or anything. Let's see. Uh, rented by you. Okay, you might have to have like a truck. Let me go ahead and get a truck real quick. Um, Where is trucks, cars? Let's just get this one real quick. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead and get in this one. I want to try this thing out just, just really quick. All right, so let's go ahead and hook up to it real quick. Okay, so of course this thing can hold fuel. Let's go ahead and unfold. So wait, that's not that. Uh, let's see. Dash and tension belts. It doesn't look like there is anything on this thing. I'm trying to figure out where it is. Okay um switch hand tool nope um i don't know actually <laughs> okay i've about tried probably about almost everything i can think of on this and i can't get it to work let me know in the comment section below if you guys got this to work and how you got to work but anyways that is the field service trailer right there Okay, then the next one we have to that one is a new trailer this is the red rock 20t trailer from fast farming it holds up to 27,100 liters, six tons, $23,000. Configuration, you got standard. You got the extension, which puts up to 44,700. And then back to standard. Will brand, you got Trellborg, Michelin, BKT, Vridistine. Trellborg, you got standard, or you got wide. Uh, and then the rest are just standard on that. Design, you have standard. Side markers. Design, you have standard. Decal red, and then back to standard. Main color, you got red. You got gray, green, blue, and black class green and yellow on that and then design colors you have let's see pretty much the same colors on that one design colors the same thing and that is it on that okay now the last new mod we have for pc only for today is a very interesting one this is the advanced maintenance from mech moxer let's see what does this mod do this mod looks at the maintenance of your vehicle if it has more than 50 percent maintenance it will start a small chance mechanic based on how many hours and maintenance the vehicle has when the numbers line up it will cause the vehicle to shut off you can still start it back up how older your vehicle is how faster it shuts down don't worry about your old tractors they are dead after 5,000 hours they will only shut down more often also if the maintenance is zero percent the tractor will not start and will need to be towed to the shop this mod also makes it that the maintenance meter only shows the maintenance of the current selected tool. This mod will work on already purchased vehicles. So this is a pretty interesting one. This is something I've been wishing. I just wish also the uh, maintenance was a little bit tweaked because maintenance goes down really, really fast and is really expensive to fix. So that right there was the last new mod for PC only. Now we have the updates for PC only. The first update we have is the Noli 8P. What changed to this one? Corrected decals and model improvement. Then we have an update for the Labe Rotel Fronter Chisel. What changed in this one? Improved textures. Then we have an update for the repair and paint settings. What changed in this one? Compatibility for precision farming. Then the last update for PC only we have is the Beware of Straw. What changed in this one? Fixed LUA error while harvesting maize and sunflower. Merged code and deleted unnecessary files. And desk version updated on that. Well, that was the new mods for today. Not a bad day in new mods. Pretty good for the first day back with mods. Well, today's schedule is a live stream back at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Well, remember, if you guys did like the video, to smash that like button. Also, if you're new, to hit that sub button and ring that bell. We'll see you guys tonight. Peace. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm wasted, and I won't waste it. And I promise that I.